welcome back to Dream Garage and today is a special day because we are back out at Winchester Speedway for an update uh, not only to talk about Motor Madness of 2023 but also to give you huge updates on the Speedway itself. Now uh, it sounds a little loud at the moment because I am by the highway at the entrance of Winchester Speedway uh, and there's been some huge updates if you haven't seen the documentary from uh, Fox Sports Net on the Rust to Revival Winchester Speedway won that opportunity and got a documentary done uh, also talking about Frank Funk who was the originator of the Winchester Speedway formerly known as Frank Speedway and uh, if you can look behind me well Funk Speedway I apologize uh, I'm gonna show you this so this here here, and I'm gonna hold it up here so you guys can read it for a second but this is all brand new um, they recently redid this for the documentary but mainly for the track obviously as they are continuously doing updates and uh, it is just an amazing thing of what they have done uh, if you can see here this is actually a, a small scaled version of the track uh, as far as how they did it, which I think is just amazing. Uh, all the little details, they just did a phenomenal job. They had everybody from Joey Logano, Tony Stewart, Jeff Gordon, Ryan Newman, our own local Tom Bigelow, um, Brady Bacon showed up. I mean, there's just a lot of cool uh, legends that have uh, either been invested in this track from coming every year to race or uh, to see it grow. And uh, it's from being from this town, realizing the importance of this track and learning about the history. It just makes our event that much more special. And I'm so glad that we were able to work this out with the Winchester Speedway to not only do it, but continue it year to year. And the support has just continued to grow. Now, one of the main things that's not finished yet, which I'm excited to see once it is, is our sign. So uh, from 1960s until this year, they have had the same sign at the Winchester Speedway, the marquee. So um, it always had been kind of a push letter where put letters up there telling you when the next event is, uh, what times, dates, things like that. So if you're just driving by, you have an understanding of when the next event is at the Winchester Speedway. Um, Charlie Shaw got honored, obviously, uh, owning the casket factory and then uh, becoming the owner for the Winchester Speedway. He is the fourth owner and has been a part of this for a long time. He has been a huge supporter of our event, huge supporter of wanting to see this grow. So very, very thankful for that. Now, as you can see, like I said, at the entrance, there's a huge field uh, before the track. And this is utilized every year, at least two to three, maybe four times a year. And so what they do is the racers will come in, whether that's on a Thursday, Friday, what have you. And they actually have a lot of campers that will stay out here for the weekend. Uh, it's always been a huge attraction out here. I can remember even from being a kid, to going by the track and not knowing what's going on but understanding that there was a lot of campers out here and realistically that was because there was a race going on and people wanted to not just come for one day but for the whole event so uh, very cool thing now uh, if you have not seen the documentary Winchester Speedway is the third oldest track in the United States it is considered the fastest half mile in the United States, but it is the second oldest that's still active. There's one in Wisconsin that is no longer active, and that was between uh, the Indianapolis 500 and the Winchester Speedway. So active, still running races. Winchester is number two, only to fall behind the Indianapolis 500. And I'm sure if you haven't heard of Winchester Speedway, you definitely have heard of the Indianapolis 500. So I wanted to start out here so you guys could actually see um, the updates, just little things that they have done on the outside of the track. We are about to head to the store uh, entryway and see all the updates that they have done in there. So uh, please subscribe, share, and like the video. If you have uh, never heard of Motor Madness, it is a, the third annual of that event. Um, there's been a village of us that has put this on. Very blessed and thankful to each and every person that has volunteered their time or money or uh, giveaways, things like that. Huge shout out to the track. Um, Larry, who runs the track. Uh, Bob Lemons, who has been a huge help with us uh, as far as getting the word out. 
across uh, Ohio and Indiana. There's been a lot of people that have just come to the event that are excited about this year, parade laps, things like that. So don't wanna miss that. I'm going to put the last year's video in the screen so you can see that and the link in the description um, so if you have not seen our motor madness events you can definitely do that uh, but we are going to head up to the entryway now so you guys can see that okay so now we are up at the ticket booth uh, aspect of the building and uh, for a long time this is where you would get your passes to go into the track so uh, it's kind of cool has three little ticket counters there pit passes general mission things like that and then uh, there's a pit pay there option as well now their concession stands are in this building over here and then their restrooms are there and then there's a house attached to the building and whenever you would come through they'd have that garage door open and you would come right through here and there's trophies and all kinds of things inside some pictures which is really cool so like here some events that uh, are either just passed or coming up um, which is neat as well so again the aspect of this track and what it means not just to race fans across the world but also to the local community words really can't describe that um, like this here the story behind this victory circle is neat so this was the victory circle original victory circle that was done for years and it was not used for an awful long time and it was found in a field and was still intact they did have to repair and fix things on this they repainted it but this is the original victory circle and when you think about the people that have stood in that circle to get their picture taken uh, with the trophy girls and the promoters and everything like that, there is so much history on this stage alone. Um, now you got the grandstands here. What was cool was when I was watching the documentary and even pictures throughout, this used to be covered. So I don't know how much bigger these stands are from the original stands or um, when they took down the covered aspect of this, but it used to all be covered. Now, what also is cool about this, a long time ago, there was a bridge that actually went from here all the way to the infield, which, I mean, I can only imagine you driving under that and things of that nature, so thought that was pretty cool. We are walking towards the track right now. <laughs> now, what's so in particular about this racetrack and why it is so fast is the high banks and you can it's hard to see in the video to put in words comparative to actually how tall how steep these banks are i think that the one of the world or the fastest time frames to swing around those banks is around 140 miles an hour so let's go over here so you guys can see um, so this is the tunnel that actually goes to the infield. Um, so they actually also went through here and repainted all this. And it says racing through Randolph County. Now what else is cool about this is that everything that was done was from our community. So uh, the high school had a lot of people that came out and did a lot of this stuff. There's a history timeline in the concession area um, see if we can get to that before uh, we leave today but I mean they went in and made all these signs so 29th governor of Indiana James P Goodrich he was born and raised here in Winchester which is really nice so there's a lot of cool things that they did throughout this tunnel and I apologize that it's dark well, they have lights but they don't have them on right now So this kind of goes through and tells you about different aspects, whether it's about the track or about the community. And uh, I actually have never walked through this tunnel. And I apologize again if you can't read it. We're gonna keep going here. 
course that one is talking about glassware. I got a little birdie in here. And then this takes you up into the other side of the track. It's pretty steep to be honest with you. Again, all this redone, which is just so cool. And this brings us out to the infield. Just such a neat place and having the history behind it. It's just unbelievable. And this here would be where the announcers are. And then they'd have their leaderboard up here. So I'd tell the audience or crew teams or whoever the uh, placement of the drivers what lap little stand here of course they got restrooms in here for people on the infield as well so guys this is words really can't describe the importance of this track um, in the racing community it goes way beyond the town of Winchester but for us being from here um, having the ability to to do something and collaborate with the Speedway and uh, they didn't have to take a chance on us they uh, were all about letting us come out here and supporting us and knew it was a mutual interest that this wasn't about us it was about the community it's about the racetrack and what a better place to have an event for motor madness than this you know i've been to a lot of car shows and there's a lot of cool places you can go i mean you know whether somebody might have a place by a lake or downtown and with some cool buildings from old ages and things like that you know it's really cool and uh when you're doing something that benefits others doesn't matter where you do it and don't let anybody tell you, you can't do something if you want to start something you have an idea push through it try it even if the first year is not near what you thought it was going to be keep pushing because if you stay consistent and you got the right people behind you anything's possible and uh, that is what's happened here we started off with two guys that just had an idea to change the narrative and get more people out to the track and to the town of winchester and in lieu of that to be able to give back to the community that has touched a lot of us I know it's touched me um, and you know I could be forever grateful for that but to now be on our third year and we've had collectively over 200 vehicles at this track and the parade laps and how much money we've been able to raise you know we're, we're just at the start of this and we're gonna continue to grow continue to put our heads together uh, we're meeting in this evening just in a little bit to discuss different things and uh, it just means a lot to me to uh, be a part of this, to help bring something unique to this town, to bring something unique to the Speedway, and to share it with you guys across the world. And uh, that makes it all worth it. There's no amount of money that can replace something people can be proud of, that people can feel a part of, not feel like they're in the stands just watching. They can actually be a part of the whole event. So, um, it's just an unreal experience. And if it wasn't for the staff, for Charlie Shaw, for all these people that believed in what we were what we were saying and what we were trying to accomplish, we wouldn't be here. So um, it means more than I can describe, more than I can put into words. Um, but 
you know, again, everything that you guys have been seeing. And there's a lot of stuff that's been here for way older than me. Um, and that's what I like about this track is, you know, it's not all just modern and, you know, yes, modern amenities are nice and really enjoy that. But at the same time, you know, it's also a sense of history that we can appreciate. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm trying to put myself in the shoes of, uh, whether it's a fan or a crew chief or a race car driver that has been to this track. And there's been so many famous names, so many people that have raced around these high banks and uh, have taken the risk to hope that they get the reward of winning and helps put a stamp on their resume to get them to the next level. And, uh, you know, I, it's really cool if you haven't seen on YouTube, go to YouTube, type in Winchester Speedway and type in uh, TV races and you can find, they're, they're, I mean, they're hour, two hour broadcasts, but it's pretty cool to see the blimps and you know they had like blow up things and you know the grandstands were just full of people and uh just to see the excitement i mean i can remember as a kid being at home and just hearing the race cars go around this track and even though i wasn't even close to the track personally the or the engines were so loud that you could hear them across town and uh you know like i said we go to muncie or we were going out of town and we pass by and you just see all the lights at night or you just saw all these people collectively at this speedway. Uh, it was really neat because, you know, every other time of the year, you didn't have a lot of attractions where people were just coming into town for one reason. And so this has housed hundreds of hundreds of thousands of people since it started. And what's neat, I rode the motorcycle in today, but when this track was built, it was actually built um, and the first set of races were motorcycles and they heard about the track asked Frank if they could race on it and, uh, and Then all of a sudden within two years they started having cars out here and so I thought it was pretty cool to bring the bike out um, today and, uh, and Have it parked here in the track. I thought that was pretty cool so uh, We're gonna get some cool pictures um, Again you know if you haven't been out this to the track you need to do it if you're willing to travel or you're willing to come over and see a race do it these guys put a lot of hard time and effort in and sacrifice to help grow this and uh just from the 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 documentary just from the people that were a part of that that didn't have to be didn't have to talk about our town didn't have to talk about our speedway for them to be willing to do that, um, I know meant a lot to a lot of people, including myself. Um, again, you know, when you partner with something special like this, seeing the growth beyond you is is humbling and uh, means a lot to me, even when I'm not a part of those things. So, you know, I was really super proud and happy for all these guys that got to talk and tell their stories and talk about the track and go around the track. Uh, there's a, a chair that is mounted and actually grown into a tree that a, a guy used to sit on to watch the races where the orphanage was. And uh, I can only imagine doing something like that. Obviously times were way different back then, but to actually know that that chair is still there, that's a piece of history I'll never be forgotten. And uh, that's why these documentaries and videos are so important because it allows people that could be 20, 50 years down the road, look back and watch videos like this and get to learn about something that they didn't know about or wonder why people know about Winchester Speedway. What's the significance of that? There's not a NASCAR race there. There's not a Indy 500 race there, you know, to the general public, that's the biggest race to watch. So for us to be able to share this track, share the heritage, the history, and the importance of it to racing is, uh, that's why this all makes sense. That's why this all is so important. And for our town, you know, when people come in, they want, might wanna go get something to eat or they might wanna go in and get ice cream or there's a drive-in movie theater to this day. And that's not around very often places either. Um, maybe they should go to the gas station. They meet somebody from Winchester. It's not an outsider and, you know, they realize how nice they are. And, you know, we take pride in this hometown. We take pride in this community 
and what it does. And we have so many cool things about Winchester. Um, so, you know, it, it means a lot to a lot of people. Um, so again, wanted to show you guys around the track, show you around what they've done, the updates, still more to come, and uh, talk a little about the significance, what it means for us, and what it also means to this community and the racing world and motor madness. So again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Share these with your friends, um, like the channel, and uh, if you aren't doing anything on August 27th from 12 to 4, consider coming out. It's a free admittance. We do have donations. That's how we raise money to give back to the community. If you want a booth, let me know. I always put my email, our website that has all our contacts and information as well. And or if you just want to register your car, it's only $10 a car to uh, register. We are going to do customer or uh, people awards, people choice awards. That's the best way to put it. So uh, we are not going to have categories for awards this year. Uh, we just feel like it should be about the people. So all the awards are going to be voted by you. And um, when you're here, you get to, you know, vote one through three. And the top however many awards are going to be given out because of you guys. So this isn't going to be based on how well a car's built. It's going to be based on the color. It could be based on anything. So, you know, the most amount of, of votes is what's going to get the awards. And uh, we just wanted to change the narrative from judging and you know we had a couple people that uh just you always have somebody that's going to complain about how you how you do things no matter how much work you put in no matter how hard you try uh there's always a complainer out there and that's part of being you know human and taking a risk on uh you're always kind of putting yourself out there but at the same time you know we decided this year to uh eliminate that issue so we are just going to make sure that um you know there are going to be awards people are going to get something everybody's going to get something this year um first year we had dash blacks we're going to bring that back but this is going to be for the people by the people to the people so um again if you want to donate we much appreciate it the uh randolph county sweet dreams beds and the uh, journey home for veterans that is a huge deal so uh, we raise money for them each year and that in itself is just a really cool blessing on what people are trying to do for the community. So like I said, subscribe, share and like, and we will see you guys in the next one.